So what does it look like to go from the Sunday church and become the everyday church? I want you to imagine that you got into God's word every single day. You were, you, imagine if you fought to be in the word of God because you're like, I want to be on mission. I want to know what God has to say for me. I want to know what God wants me to do today. I want to know the kind of person God wants to shape me into. And imagine every day you said, I'm going to fight for it. Imagine you're reading the word, but imagine you're getting nothing out of it. Like, you know, I'm going to talk about this next week, by the way. You're getting nothing out of it, but you're like, no, I'm coming back the next day. I'm going to keep planting the seed. I'm going to keep planting the seed. I'm going to keep planting the seed. And then imagine, imagine if every day you got up, And you went out and just looked for opportunities to do good in the name of Jesus. Like when when you saw somebody, you're like, you intentionally like said hi to them to engage them because you're like, I want them to be needed and known. It wasn't a passive hi, but it was like, you were really saying hi. You really saw them. Or maybe you saw somebody who was in need and you're like, but I I could help with that. Maybe it's something simple or maybe it's something sacrificial, but you're like, man, I could do that. Imagine at the end of your day, you look back on your day and you, you say, wow, look how, like, look how God used me. Wow. Then, then imagine if you had three people in your life and you were doing life with them and you had a place where you knew you could confess your sins to one another. Like you, you didn't have to fake it. You didn't have to pretend, but you could just be real and, and, and you found acceptance and you found people that would spur you on to do good things in your life and Man, just, and just imagine too, though, that you weren't only just having these three people in your life, but you said, I'm going to intentionally, every day, pray for people that don't know Jesus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray for my neighbors, my coworkers, I'm, the people on my, on my campus and in my dorm and uh, at that school, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start praying for them. And here's what I want you to imagine. Imagine if you started doing that and you started praying for them and you, you, you then had opportunities to, to do good in their life and nothing, I mean, you didn't talk about Jesus, but you just, You started being kind for the sake of kindness and getting to know them and just showing tangibly the love of Jesus to them. Imagine what that would be like. And Imagine if one day they came to you and they said, hey, I I got a question. Or maybe, maybe something happens in their life and you know in that moment that's God's calling you and to talk to them about the hope that you have and and you know it's it, and so you, you take a bold step and you just you pray for them or you text them a scripture or you just sit and listen and talk to them. And imagine you do that for weeks or maybe months and you're just developing this relationship and just loving this person like Jesus did. Now imagine this. Here's the big shift. Here's the big shift where we go from this to this. Imagine if instead of inviting them to church on Sunday, imagine if you said to them, hey, I've got this group of friends, and uh, we get together on Sunday nights, uh, we get together on Thursday nights, Wednesday nights, whatever night it is that your core group meets. And you say, hey, we eat together, we laugh, we hang out, um, we we talk about these questions and these things that we're talking about, and we pray together, and do you want to come? Imagine if they said yes. If they say yes and you text everybody in your core group. You're like, my, my friend, my friend is coming to group. Can you imagine how excited your group was? Imagine your group's then praying, start praying for that person by name and, and they show up in the group and they show up on that night and they walk into the room and everybody, everybody's being kind to them. Everybody's loving on them. Everybody's being nice to them and imagine your friend just sits down and and they're watching all these different people and realizing that they have problems and they have struggles and they're asking questions. And imagine if uh, weeks and maybe months go by and imagine that person says, um, so am I a Christian? <laughs> um, I think I might be a Christian. I, what does it mean to be a Christian? Imagine you start talking to them. And you're fumbling through it and you're making all kinds of mistakes. You're not getting it right. Imagine like you don't call up me. You don't call up, you don't bring them to the church for the answer. You say, I'm going to try to tell them. And imagine you bring them into your group and then your group, the members of the group, they start talking to them about what it means to have faith in Jesus. And 
you all stumble about it together and fumble it together and just imagine if that person in that in your in your core group and and they say uh I, I want that. I, I want I want Jesus. And like imagine your core group gathering around that person and praying for them. And everybody says amen and the tears are flowing and the excitement is there because the old is gone and the new has come and this person is experiencing the hope and the healing and the peace and the purpose of Jesus. Now imagine you said, hey, your next step is to be baptized. But, but instead of bringing them to, to, to church on a Sunday to be baptized like we would do it, you say, we got a pool in the backyard. How about we just take you out there and baptize you there? And imagine that you, like, you get in the pool. Not a pastor, not the group leader, but you get in the pool because this is your neighbor, this is your coworker, this is your classmate, and imagine that you take them down under the water and you lift them up to new life and imagine everybody around that pool just going crazy. Imagine everybody in the neighborhood jumping into the pool because they can't handle it. Everybody's so excited. And imagine if you then came with your group with that person and we all gathered on a Sunday and we showed the video of you baptizing them in the pool and we all celebrated together. Come on church, it is time to engage. Turn to somebody and tell them it is time to engage. It is time to go from the Sunday church and become the everyday church.